Today, we are going to talk about sustainability. Five exceptional innovations and two things in common. First, they're all world changers. Second, they are all from the Netherlands. The Netherlands, this small country known for water management, dredges, horticulture and football professors, is incredibly innovative, especially when it comes to sustainability. <laughs> yeah, right. Says who? The European Innovation Scoreboard, that's who. According to them, the Dutch are innovation leaders. Startups are popping up like mushrooms and growing into huge organisations. These are exactly the type of companies Expo 2020 in Dubai is looking for. The Netherlands have long been leaders in the field of water control. Water, as we know well, offers us so many possibilities. But what about energy? Our search for renewable energy currently focuses mainly on solar and wind energy. But why aren't we using ocean energy as well? Ocean energy? Why not? Especially when you consider that as much as 71% of the Earth's surface is ocean. Wow! Brilliant! And now it's possible. The Dutch company Blue Rise can generate power from the ocean's temperature differences. They developed OTEC, which stands for Ocean Thermal Energy Conversion. Think of the ocean like one big solar panel, where all the energy from the sun is stored in the top layer. The warm ocean water vaporises into a working fluid with a low boiling point, like ammonia. The steam drives a turbine to generate power. Then, cold water is pumped from the deep sea, which condenses the steam again, so the working fluid can be reused. Brilliant! You got that right. This form of generating power is 100% CO2 neutral, continual and stable 24-7, scalable and enormous, already commercial on islands, plenty of room for future cost reductions, potential byproducts like cooling, drinking water and food. This will impact sustainable energy the world over. Absolutely. Blue Rise has developed the OTEC technology to the point where the first commercial plant in the world is ready to be installed in the Caribbean. And that will mark the beginning of an energy breakthrough with renewable energy from the ocean. When we talk about a sustainable construction, we often focus on energy savings. But Dutch company Finch Buildings, well, they go not just one step, but several steps further when they think about sustainable construction. We just keep building, and do you know that 36% of CO2 worldwide comes from the built-up environment? 36%? What a massive footprint! Yeah, that's got to be reduced. And that's why Finch Buildings have developed solid wood construction modules. These are adaptable and stackable. They're easy to move and can be connected to create <laughs> larger spaces. Kind of like giant Lego. It's completely flexible. They're modular, scalable and uncompromising. They can be, for example, a home, an office, a hotel, a shopping centre or refugee housing. The possibilities are endless. The use of wood creates a healthy environment inside. The homes are all electric and fossil free. So let me get this right, this way of building. It's sustainable, it's flexible, it's adaptable, it's stackable, it's healthy and future proof. You got that right. This will have a huge impact worldwide. Yep, it's going to turn the global approach to building on its head. Finch buildings plant more trees than they cut down to build the modules. Because the trees store the used CO2 and there are no other materials used that cause emissions, the effective CO2 reduction is at least 60 tonnes per module. And the entire house can be recycled and upcycled. A solution to affordable housing and a contribution to a better world. In many Asian countries, insects are seen as a delicacy. In nature itself, all animals are dependent on the high nutrients that insects provide, that they deliver a high quality protein and that they could help solve the problem of overfishing is what Protix will show with the following case. Of the total fish caught, no less than one third is used as animal feed. 33%! No way! And that with so much overfishing taking place? That's a huge problem. And why? Because of the proteins. 
proteins? <laughs> yep, protein. One in three fish are used as fish meal and other food supplements. And that's just not necessary. Time for a sustainable solution. Protix is the market leader when it comes to verifiable and scalable insect breeding that can also deliver these proteins. The principle is simple. Insects can recycle organic waste super fast, turning it into high quality proteins, vitamins and amino acids. And the quality is better than fish meal. That sounds like a win-win. Yep, creating proteins in this way is easy to implement, delivers high quality proteins, solves the waste issue. This will have an impact on food production globally. It sure will, and not just for animals. The potential of Protix technology is huge. Waste suddenly becomes a source of protein and other nutrients for food on a global scale. Natural ingredients with a low footprint, feeding more people with less pressure on ecosystems. That's fantastic, isn't it? The world's population is growing all the time, and with it, the demand for water. It's difficult to provide fresh water to so many parts of the world, especially desert or arid areas and islands. Well, if elemental water makers have anything to do with it, that's all about to change soon. Over 800 million people don't have access to safe drinking water. 800 million? Yep, no safe drinking water. And the scarcity of fresh water is increasing. Currently, 80 million metres cubed of seawater is desalinated every day. It's an energy-intensive process which uses mostly fossil fuels. This is often expensive and far from sustainable. Expensive and environmentally unfriendly. There's got to be a better way. There sure is. That's why Elemental Watermakers, a spin-off of the Technical University of Delft, developed a desalination technique that only uses sustainable sources. The basis is the reverse osmosis, in which water passes under high pressure through a membrane. To be able to produce water 24 hours a day, while only using the sun, wind and waves, Elemental Watermakers have introduced an elevated water reservoir they can cleverly reduce the height required to 90 metres by making use of the residual pressure. So this means it's possible anywhere in the world? Yep, this method of desalination is 100% environmentally friendly, cheap because it uses renewable energy, scalable, and it provides reliable water supply from unlimited sources. Revolutionary! Spot on. Soon we'll be able to supply many more places in the world with the most essential element on Earth, fresh water. Here in Dubai, they know better than most how tough it is to get things to grow in the desert. Yet Dutch Land Life Company, they've come up with a solution that uh, can help trees survive in even the driest, most unforgiving of environments anywhere on the planet. We ask a lot of our Earth, our natural resources are being used up, Today, two billion hectares of soil are exhausted. Two billion hectares? I know, that's the surface of the USA and China combined. Without artificial interventions like fertiliser and lots of irrigation, nothing grows on this land. In areas where water is scarce, this is an even bigger problem. I call that an understatement. It is, but there's a solution. Land Life Company have developed a biodegradable cocoon that allows trees to grow in dry areas without ever watering them again. And does the cocoon work in the desert as well? Yep, this example also brings unprecedented opportunities for the GCC. The cocoon can hold 25 litres of water. This is sufficient for the first six months of a tree's growth. By then, the roots are deep enough for the tree to survive on its own. Even in the driest places on Earth, you can find subsurface soil moisture for seeding roots to tap into below 1.5 metres. And the cocoon is 100% biodegradable. That sounds like a breakthrough innovation. It certainly is. The cocoon is low cost, sustainable, scalable. This is world changing. Land Life Company's cocoon makes life possible in the driest places on Earth. The company's mission is to reforest 100 million hectares of degraded land, and because trees extract CO2 from the air, this restores an important natural balance, an essential weapon in the fight against climate change. 
With the Expo Live Innovation Impact Grant, these five sustainable innovations take a giant leap forward and generate a greater impact worldwide. And let's be honest, companies that are generating electricity from the ocean, building properties with a negative footprint, producing fishing by a third, producing fresh water from salt water, or even growing trees in the driest areas, are for the visitors to the Expo 2020 Dubai a must see, right? Definitely. These Dutch companies are ready to share their experience, but also their inspiring ideas. But together with an Expo Life Innovation Impact Grant, they can help make the world a better place.